so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video guys i'm going to show you how you can make this wooden bench using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys this is my render view and now i'm just going to delete everything okay pressing the a and going to delete everything then i will go to the my top view so first of all i'm just going to set this 3d cursor in the word origin something like that so first of all guys we will make a wooden plank for making the wooden plank i will add one cube here and then i will go to scale this uh, cube something like that i think that's look fine to me yeah and after that i'm just going to scale it little bit something like that and then i'm just going to add the bevel but before adding the bevel guys make sure you apply the scale because if you not apply the scale so that bevel will not work properly so now i'm just going to the edit mode and going to select the edge then i will do the bevel pressing the control b so here you can see from the scroll button i'm just going to increase the number of cuts okay so i think that's look fine to me yeah so it's looking fine so now i'm just going to add the shade smooth so here you can see guys it's looking perfect and those edges are looking uh, much smoother and that's work for me okay so then uh, I'm just going to hide this uh, plank for a while and uh, after that I'm just going to add a uh, one path from the curve section yeah so then I will go to the my left view but before going to left view I'm just going to uh, rotate this uh, path to 90 degree minus 90 degree something like that then I will go to the left view and then i will go to the uh, edit mode of this path so now i will drag those vertices to upside and now i'm just going to make the uh, bench shape using the this curve okay so i'm just going to do very quick so here you can see guys our shape is done now and now i'm just going to unhide this plank so for that i will press the alt h okay so then I will add the uh, array modifier on this plank so for that I will go to the modifier section and uh, then I will add the array okay so first of all I'm just going to change the relative offset to x to y and now I'm just going to increase the distance between those plank yeah so it's looking fine to me and I think we should decrease the uh, thickness little bit yeah it's looking fine now okay so after that I'm just going to increase the number of uh, count of these planks for that I'm just taking 15 for a while okay so then I will add one more modifier it's called curve and then I will select this curve from the here so when I select the curve so here you can see that uh, these planks will be uh, react according to this curve so here you can see it looking perfect now and some parts are not looking smooth so for that you have to just go to the edit mode this plank and add some edge loop here and just increase it little bit and after that here you can see it looking more smooth okay so here you can see our basic uh, uh, bench shape is ready okay and we can increase the number of uh, plank from the here yeah so it's looking perfect now so after that I'm just going to copy this uh, no path okay pressing the shift d and x for this axis okay so then i'm just going to add one plane and after that i'm just going to scale this plane and keep it here and then i'm just going to scale one more time something like that okay then i will apply the scale first of all then i will go to the edit mode extrude this part and now I'm just going to add the bevel yeah so it's looking perfect so after that I'm just going to add the array and same thing I will do here change the relative offset to y so then I will uh, increase the number of count uh, approx 20 so it's looking fine then I will add the one more modifier it's called curve and after that I will select this curve again so here you can see that plane object also react according to this curve same thing i will do here yeah but right now here you can see it looking so much edgy so reason behind it because there is no edge between of this mesh 
that's why it's happening so I'm just going to add some edge so now here you can see it will look more smooth but we can see the gap between those uh, two shapes here you can see if I will show you here yeah so it will gone okay guys then I'm just going to decrease the number of uh, counts I think that's fine then I will select both of them and going to drag it and keep it here so it looking fine to me I think okay but if you if you think it's sparing to inside this uh, bench so you can go to the left view then you can edit go to the edit uh, path and just drag it little bit downside so it will not spare into the this part something like this and you have to do uh, this process for the each and every vertex okay so now I think that's fine so first of all I'm just going to move it little bit up yeah so it's looking perfect now yes so now I'm just going to copy this uh, object same side also yeah and we'll do move this also little bit inside so here you can see it's looking perfect now so now I'm just going to uh, make the leg of this uh, bench so for making this legs so I will use the uh, curly curve and uh, if you not find these options here so you can go to the edit preference and here you have to search the extra object here you can see and here you have to just click on the extra curve and after that don't forget to save preference so when you do this you will able to see these options here also so now I'm just going to click the curl curve and then here you can see when I add the curl curve so here we have a uh, 10 types of curve so if I'll show you here you can see there are 10 types of curve so right now I'm going to use the number one of the curve okay then I will press the tab and going to rotate this to 90 degree something like that minus 90 degree and then I will uh, keep it here then go to the left view and rotate it 180 degree yeah and do little bit scale and keep it here and just rotate it little bit something like that okay then after that you can keep it here so now we need some thickness of uh, this uh, curve so how we can get this thickness so for that I'm just going to add the nerve circle and going to keep it here then going to scale little bit then I will select this uh, curve and go to the object property of this curve and click on the geometry then I will uh, go to the bevel section and here you will see the depth section so first of all we have to select this uh, little nerve uh, circle so when I select this nerve circle here you can see now we can see the uh, thickness in our curve but it's it's a way more thicker so from here we can define the thickness so I think that's fine to me okay so now I'm just going to copy all other legs also so yeah and now I'm just going to uh, rotate it 180 degree okay and then keep this part also here you can do a little bit upside it's looking fine and do same copy from the other side also yeah so now we can uh, manage the size from here so I think it's looking fine but here is one problem there are uh, hole of the end of this edge so how we can fill this hole for that I will select this uh, curve and go to the the bevel section here you will find the fill hole when you click on the uh, this option those hole will be fill and we have to do the same to all also other also yeah okay 
so now here you can see our bench is almost ready but uh, we will add some further editing also so for that I will um, go to the uh, edit mode of this uh, plank and then I will uh, select this face then I will do shift s and uh, then I will do a cursor to selected okay that cursor will appear here then after that I will do control A and here I will add one cylinder okay and after that I'm just going to scale this cylinder okay and uh, I'm just going to keep it upside and then I will scale it a little bit more and I'm just going to scale it okay then after that I'm just going to select the top view and do scale little bit and then do bevel and now I'm just going to select the all cylinder pressing the control L then I will do scale little bit something like that and now I can keep it inside here and now I will add the shade smooth as well yeah it's looking fine so first of all I'm just going to keep it here increase the size little bit and just keep it upside yeah and same thing I will add the other part also something like that okay so when it will done so now you can uh, see uh, those net bolt are looking so cool here okay so here you can see our bench part is almost done now we will uh, add the texture on this uh, plank so before adding the texture I'm just going to unwrap these planks so for doing unwrap I'm just going to select the uh, those edges first of all I'm just going to select those edges so after selecting the uh, both side of edges something like this here you can see I select the these edges here then I select the one of the middle edge and then I select the all edge from the here also okay and after that I will click the right click and then I will do mark seam so when you do mark seam then press the A for the select all then you press the 3 on your keyboard for the face mode then you click the U for the unwrap so when you click the unwrap so when you go to the the UV editing section so here you can see now we have a perfect unwrap of this plank okay so now we'll add the texture on it so I have already created the one texture for this plank so here you can see now I will going to add the texture so I will select this plank then go to the material section and then I will add the uh, wood brown so here you can see when I click on the wood brown it's perfectly apply on it because we did unwrap of this plank okay and after that we'll add the texture on this uh, uh, nut board also so first of all we have to select those nut boards so for selecting those nut bolts I will select the one face of the each nut board then do control L so it will select whole mesh okay then I will click on the new material and then I will assign the bolts chrome okay so when I click on the assign so here you can see those bolt have also material so now I will add the uh, texture in on uh, the iron bars so I have already created this texture it's called green metal uh, so after adding the texture in one part I will select the uh, other object something like that okay and then I will select the last one which is we have add the texture then we do control L and we will get a uh, make link uh, properties we'll do make link as a material so here you can see now we have a material in all the iron bars okay and it's looking perfect our bench is almost ready and uh, we did uh, texturing also but there is one problem that texture is repeating continuously and it's not looking good and it's not looking a real because it's continuously repeating from the each and every planks and uh, so how we can rid of this problem so for that you have to click on this plank then after you have to go to the under the um, array modifier you will see the UV section you have to just offset your UVs something like that and now you will see some randomness in your texture and it look more cool okay you can't see the same texture in uh, same uh, part and you can just 
do the uh, offset not u v also okay so it will create more randomness so that's how you can uh, create a random texture in array object also okay guys so now our uh, bench is ready and now you can add your camera add your lighting and you can take the render and you will see you will get your uh, bench okay so now we have to do some further editing we have to just keep it those as is here and uh, just keep it here and same thing here okay so now it's looking perfect so that's how guys you can make the wooden bench using the blender so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys